Hi, so I made this card recently for my new niece and a couple of people have asked me how I did it so I thought I'd just show you in canvas. So if you look at the letters, each one of these letters is individual on this pink spotted paper and basically what I did, I stuck alternate letters down flat onto the card and I raised the other ones up. So the V is raised up on 3D foam and the I is stuck down. This E is raised up and the N is stuck down and so forth and so on. This is how I created this cutting file. First of all, as I say, I had the idea for the card and I knew I wanted it to be the name. So I knew the card was going to be like a lengthways top opening card. So I had a look in my supplies and I found an envelope so the first thing I do I did was measure the envelope to see how big that was and the envelope was just just under four and a half inches high and about eight and a half inches wide so as a guide I got a rectangle and sized it and I and if you untick the aspect ratio, you can size these independently. So the envelope was just short of four and a half inches, but I made this box, which is my guide for the size of my card, four. And then I made the width, the eight and a half. And that kind of represents my envelope, but I'm, it, it's, I'm only using it as a visual guide for the screen. So the next thing I did was went to the text and I found a font, this one. So, so this one, top right. So I double click to get the flashing cursor and, and select the word text and hit delete. And then using the capital locks on my keyboard, I typed the name. And then I just clicked somewhere on the page. So this is just one group of individual letters at the moment and I want to roughly resize them but you can see the bounding box is bigger than the letters. So the first thing I needed to do was with the letters selected right click and hit divide. Now when I drag an imaginary box around the letters you can see that the bounding boxes actually come all around the letters touching the top and the bottom. So I'm going to right click and group, so they're now a group. And then I place them over this rectangle which is my guide. And then basically I just squashed it in a bit by eye and then took the size up because I knew that I wanted to weld a rectangle on the bottom the way the letters would look. I might just make it a little bit bigger. I then just brought another rectangle onto the page. In fact, I'm gonna just duplicate this one. So right click and duplicate. And then I'm going to squash this one down until it's about an inch and a half high or thereabouts. Now, these letters, as I say, I cut individually in the pink and white polka dot paper. And then I just added the black dash lines to each of the letters by hand. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to edit and offset and I'm going to make a 0 0.8 offset and I want it on the outside so outward but I want it to give me all the definition in the letters so I'm going to untick this box that says create an offset line around the outer edge because I actually want the outer and inner and I'm going to say okay So now I've got the individual letters with an offset. So I'm going to select each letter and I'm going to hold the shift key down and work my, my way along 
just selecting the, the bigger letters, the offset letters. So I'm just touching the top. And hopefully, when I move them out of the way, they're the offset and these here or this here is the original letters that I started with. So I'm going to keep them down here for now. Now I've got all these. So I'm going to group them. And if you look at the size down here, it's 7.70 wide. So I'm going to size this rectangle to the same width. So 7.70. And if I can't get it exactly, I'm going to go to the properties and change it here. Now I'm going to overlap this rectangle slightly on the bottom of the letters. I'm going to select everything and go to edit and center. And that will center the letters to this rectangle. Now I want to weld these letters to this rectangle. But if I weld them as it is now, the middle of the A will disappear. Okay, so I want to weld the word Vienna to this rectangle. I'm just going to colour it in and show you what I mean. So I'm going to fill it with black and you'll see that the middle of the A disappears and possibly the E as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and ungroup. I'm going to select the A and do Edit, Subtract, and I'm going to do it on the E as well. And then hopefully now, when I select all these and weld them together, they should weld and no bits of the letters should disappear. Okay, so that's now effectively the front of the card. So I'm going to right click and hit Duplicate. I'm going to come to the edit icon. I'm going to flip it vertically um, so that the letters will line up. And then I'm going to bring up, it doesn't matter which one, either the top one down or the bottom one up, so that they overlap just slightly here. And then I'm going to select them both and go edit center and they'll line up centrally to each other. And now I'm going to go edit and weld. So that now is the base card. And I'm going to bring the rectangle in and just make sure that when it's folded up it will fit in the envelope and it will. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And then these letters, I'm just going to ungroup them and change them to red just so that you can see them. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this so you can see them on the screen. And then hopefully these should line up on the front of this card with a little bit of a white border around and they will. So I'm just going to bring these two letters back down here because remember these are going to be cut individually. So I want to have a bit of a gap in between them. So I'm going to select them and group them and then I'm going to bring this back in. Now so I cut the base card in white card and then I layered up these letters over the name in pattern paper. But I don't know whether you can see, I'll bring the card back in again and show you, but I actually put an insert inside my car which I cut in coloured paper. I'm not sure whether you can see it on here, but there's actually this pink card inside there which is the insert, if you like, for the card. So... While this is selected, I'm going to come to Edit, come to the Offset button. I'm going to do an Inward and I'm going to make it 0 0.08 on the Inward and say OK. 
Now, if I just try and get the outside, that's the, the base card. This is the insert. I'll change the colour to green. And I'll see if I can fill it in to see if you can see any how it looks. Now, it looks as though it's all, all the definitions missing. So I'm going to go to edit and subtract and it brings all the definition back. So that would be the insert that I cut in pink and this is the card that I cut in white and then there the letters, just bring those to the front, they're the letters that are layered up on the front of the card. So that's how I did the shape card in the name of Vienna and then you just save it up here, give it a title, use this second icon along which is overwrite this project which basically is save and then just download it however you download to your machine. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.